Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, Jesse here, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. Just got this one today, uh, the Mandalorian in his Beskar armor uh, from basically the finale of uh, Season 1, um, which is when he finally procured his outfit as it sees fit in this packaging. Um, these have just come out here in Australia in Zing Pop Culture, um, none others in the wave, they've been getting straight cases of 8 of these. Um, Looks pretty good. This is the second figure I've had in the new packaging. I'm looking forward to the rest of this wave. I do have them pre-ordered. Um, very excited about this one. Um, I did re-watch half the season yesterday again. Um, so it's pretty... It's, it's such a good show. And I've just been extremely hungry for more Mandalorian merch. Particularly this guy here. So let's open it up and have a closer look. Alright, so I hope the camera is picking this up nicely. I'm actually going to open him on camera. Normally I do it um, after my little intro and go back to it, but there's a bit of an art to this. Um, we have seven different cuts of sticky tape. Hasbro's decided that we need sticky tape everywhere. So we've got one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, and seven on the bottom there as well. So let's see, technically this box should just completely fall apart, um, based on that. And there you go, you've got a nice, big, open piece of cardboard. You can sort of see why they changed to this, it's one simple cut, a few folds, and a little simple insert as well. So like Marvel Legends have done, they've got the clear window case over the top. And here we have him in his bubble. So let's remove this bit by bit. So we've got his blaster pistol. Doesn't seem to be any different to the previous incarnation. Maybe some changes in colour. His rifle. Focusing. And this time we do get his his jetpack. Which in terms of sculpt is nice. Um, paint detail leaves a lot to be desired because there is none. <laughs> um, that comes across as just very lazy. Um, I don't really want to have to paint these figures on my own. Um, it's Otherwise I'd go and buy a model kit, you know. Um, it's cool. I'll, I will do something with it myself. Um, once I find some decent reference shots of the real thing from the show. Um, to see whether there are any different colours, otherwise I'll probably just give it a give it a silver spray and be done with it. Um, so there it is. It's got a peg and the two little notches um, to stop it from you know twisting around. All right, let's get the figure out of the box and we'll get a good look. So he is looking pretty good. I'm liking it a lot. Seems they've, I've, I have seen some people, I did bring up in my uh, review of the first version of the Mandalorian and some of their helmet sculpts just weren't quite right. They'd sort of set the mold wrong and they were coming out, whereas the helmet should have a tapered look to it, whereas this one does slightly. Um, it should be a little bit further more tapered than that. This one's not too bad. Um, whereas some of them were coming out of the molds and they were almost straight, like it was a straight bucket. Um, one of my Mandalorians I did get to. Um, but this one looks alright, this one looks pretty good. Um, it may also involve 
popping it into some boiling water and seeing if it returns to its natural shape. Um, you know, they tend to get a little bit warped in the packaging after a while. But otherwise, this figure's looking pretty good. Same holster, some changes to his armor, obviously. He's got the uh, mud horn signet there on that shoulder. Uh, he has the whistling birds there on that gauntlet. Still has his um, little blue triangle hands. But yeah, for the most of it, he has uh, completely upgraded his armor. This patch still needs a little bit of uh, repairs. But uh, he's looking pretty good. And just forgive me for the lighting situation. I am getting that worked out. I'm just shooting in a new way. For the foreseeable future so if the lighting's a little bit off i apologize i will get it sorted in the next couple of videos but i really wanted to get this one out there uh, so again we have this problem with the cape um where it really only needs to sit in one place uh, i did glue mine down on my first mandalorian and it does look good but um with this one you have to have it off to use the jetpack at the same time so you can't have him flying around with the cape um, thankfully I have sort of made myself up a pretty simple uh, custom cape that will sort of sit behind the jetpack um, and for display purposes that'll work fine so I'm very excited to have the next rendition of the Mandalorian. No doubt episode one of season two, he'll have another armor change and render this one outdated. <laughs> um, no, but it is still great. I still get a lot of kick out of my uh, regular first, first round Mando that we got. Even though that was outdated by the end of the first episode because he'd replaced the Shore Trooper shoulder with a um, just the plane. It was that one there, I think. I can't remember. Yeah, I think he'd replace that one. So yeah, articulation wise, that's all the same as the regular Mando. I'm not going to point out articulation anymore because it's, uh, you know, it just takes up a lot of time and I just want to show off the figure for what it is. So thanks for checking this out, guys. I appreciate it. Let me know any comments and feedback. Uh, hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you.